Hey everyone, how are you guys doing? I hope you're having a great day or afternoon. So we're going to get started. We're gonna talk about what to avoid, how to read labels, making sure that you're really understanding what you're using and a little bit about me and how I got started. So I started using, um, well, really when I was a kid, I was sick all the time. And what got me started with this health journey was really my little brother, um, Javier, who was adopted and he got, he eventually, he was having night terrors and my mom went to three samples of essential oils and she, they worked, but she had already been using essential oils. So she was like, well, what's the difference? The difference is all of our beautiful farms, right? Our seed to seal process. And all of that is in here. This is a whole book of pictures and, well, you know, some words too. But what, you know, what they say, a picture's worth a thousand words, right? So, but really, like, they worked, like, he was only taking two hour naps. And then in 30 minutes, he was fully asleep, calmed down, and he slept for eight hours. So that's what my mom got started with on the Young Living journey. And then for me, I used to have really bad pizza face acne, right? And then I used to get um, sick all the time. Now I understand, and that's why I'm so passionate about making sure that you know what to use and what not to use, what to avoid and what not, and what to, uh, what's safe. We're mostly gonna talk about what to avoid um, for all of those live, I will email you some more information. And anyone watching the replay on YouTube, feel free to connect with me and I'm happy to email you any sort of information you have questions on. So avoiding products that require a, a mask or ventilation. So any cleaning products or household products that require a mask or ventilation, there's gonna be toxins in those. If it has like special instructions of maybe like to get rid of it or dispose of it, don't use it. Uh, a hazard sign, the free and clear or fragrance free. See, they usually add more toxins to remove the smell. Isn't that interesting and weird? And then there's also like only and always look for an ingredient list. So you can use things that have an ingredients list. Like you will notice on all of the Thieves products, they have an ingredients list. Let's see. Yeah, it's on that side. That's the Thieves household cleaner. That's the dish soap, foam and hand soap. There's the ingredients. So you can do your research and research those ingredients because some of the scientific name, you're all like, wait, what? It sounds like it's like really harsh. And then you're like, oh, it's just a fancy way of saying baking soda. Cool, we eat that, not a big deal. Um, and then remember like with that research, we wanna make sure that we know, and you guys can look more into this because I've, I've talked about it quite a bit. 1976, the Toxic Substance Control Act, 65,000 ingredients, and many of them are still on our shelves. They mess with our endocrine system and our endocrine system is connected to not only our hormones, it's a big aspect of the hormones and, and our mood, but it's also the aspect of um, our immune system. That's why when like this all started last year, I mean, we're in 2021, right? So that's why when all this started last year with um, the things that I, I saw the Walmart Island, I was just like, Wait, people, you're, you're actually talking, toxing up your body more. You're messing with your hormones and your immune system and you're using endocrine disruptors and that's not good for your immune system. You're causing more of an issue. Like that's, that is one of the, that's many of the reasons or one of the reasons why I teach what I teach. You have to know the ingredients you're using every single day. It's such an important aspect. So um, a little bit of the story behind Thieves. So Thieves has uh, been around, well, it was researched. And um, I think mean, that's the cool thing about Gary Young. 
bringing back out the seed to seal book. Because seriously, you guys go to seedtoseal.com. The link is below in the description on the replay. Um, and anyone live? Wait, wait, don't do it yet. <laughs> right? Um, but like, you have to know the importance. Like, he's actually researching. He's in Egypt. Gary Young went to Egypt to look things up. He researched, and that's how he developed the thieves' product. Is he? he um, you know, he heard 40 thieves or four thieves that would go around stealing and they didn't get sick. And that's what this came is, came from. So we're going to do a little bit of DIY uh, as well as um, there are some products. Oh, I forgot the laundry soap. Oh, well, there's also a laundry soap, but the laundry soap you can extend and make more of it. Uh, but we'll have to do that next month right cool okay so there's also a new kitchen and bath mm -hmm. scrub so the new kitchen and bath scrub is really awesome um it is a mild abrasive but what what they did is they test this to make sure it didn't uh have any skin irritations and of course it has like you know the caution keep out of a reach of shoulder and avoid eye contact and things like that but they tested this for 40, 48 hours, this was on someone's back, a patch test on someone's back. Um, and the results were amazing. Like you, you, when I just use my hands, I'm not worried about this, right? Well, I mean, when you really are scrubbing something, cause there was something I was really scrubbing, I did have to use an abrasive scrub, right? But other than that, like, like I do when I make my baking soda and just the Thieves Household Cleaner, usually baking soda and Thieves Household Cleaner. This does have baking soda, which the fancy name is sodium bicarbonate. That is good. And sodium percarbonate is soda ash. Um, and then one of these other ones is from Clay. But like I said, I'm gonna email those of you that have questions with more info on that. But that's our newer product. It's amazing. And I'll probably do maybe a little a short clip video. And then we also have our Steve's hand sanitizer. We've had it forever. It used to be called the waterless hand purifier. And now it's a hand sanitizer because it says on there it can kill 99.99% of germs. It kills 99.9% .9 of germs. And this is the cute little one. And this has a cute little like uh, owl on it. And a lot of the time I just refill these, right? So then I have my little, um, and they are doing now, this is a one ounce. They are doing now a two ounce. I can, I can see that for like moms with babies or, or a lot of kids, like five or six kids. Like man, one ounce, three uses and I'm done right or seven uses and i'm done like they need the two ounce a little bit more so it can go with all of the hands in the family it, it totally makes sense and then the thieves hand sanitizing wipes again kills 99.99 percent .99 of all germs and they are wet and they do also have um the a moisturizing with green tea and uh ginkgo so there's ginkgo and green tea that's moisturizing which is awesome so and i i really like those as well okay some of the diy aspects we're gonna do this that way we can make sure that we get all of the beautiful things done okay so we have three ounces or three cups of water and then i'm gonna add a half a cup we're making a whitener, a safe, non-toxic whitener. So three cups of water, a half a cup of hydrogen peroxide, which this is a cup. So I'm just gonna eyeball it to half a cup because I literally like, like make this um, like once every other month or once a month because I usually don't really use a whitener that much. Because a lot of the time if I get a stain, on um i could probably add some more water we'll do that later though if i get a stain on something 
I personally, I used to just use lemon essential oil. Now I use the Thieves dish soap. Anything white, I get it, I put this on right away. Now, if I'm not home, I'll use whatever oil I have on me. Usually I have lemon, but sometimes I have citrus fresh. And the reason why I like kind of hesitate towards citrus fresh is here, I'll show you guys. Let's see. You see how like it's orange, it's literally like orange because it has tangerine and orange in it. And tangerine and orange essential oil are an orange color, right? And then it also has grapefruit and grapefruit's more of a red, pink red. Lemon is white. That's why in this, it also calls for lemon. Um, 10 drops of lemon oil. And it's cool because you're recycling your Ningxia Red bottles. And remember, Ningxia Red is great for your immune system, as well as your blood health, your eye health. It's really just good for energy, vitality and energy. It's amazing. Okay, so. One, two. There we are, two drops of, or two capfuls, a little bit more, but two capfuls of Thieves Household Cleaner. Then we need, I actually am out of lemon lemon, so I'm gonna use jade lemon, because I know that like, yeah, you can't see, okay. So jade lemon is a lot clearer, right? It's a little, it has a little bit of a tint, but it's not as tinty as citrus fresh. So I'm gonna do uh, 10 drops of jade lemon. And I'll probably fill this up with a little bit more water. Because it says, it usually looks a tiny bit more clear. So this is a whitener. This is a real whitener. It's non-toxic, no bad ingredients. And it's great for your whites, which I will, like, that's the other thing. I just don't really have that many white outfits or like if it has white and has a print on it, you guys know. So it's just one of those things that you gotta have to, um, you know, just do, do you, right? This might be easier, the Thieves Dish Soap. And then there are like uh, recipes for stain stick as well. I usually just use the dish soap. Um, and then there's also the Thieves, right? And then this is the, um, this is actually an old bottle. These pumps work really well. Um, this is the hand sand or hand foaming hand soap refill. So then you just refill your hand soap. Pretty amazing. And some people do cut the hand soap. I prefer to leave it the way it is. It's up to you. There's also Thieves Bar Soap as well. Um, okay. So the Thieves household cleaner, just making a regular like all purpose cleaner for this size. And yeah, this is the one that does. So this is cool that Young Living, um, so this is like you fill it to this line and then you add one drop of, or not one drop, one capful, which is a teaspoon of the Thieves household cleaner. And then you add it to this line, and it's also one capsule, it says general cleaning. Light cleaning is one capsule up here. So I, yeah, I usually just use it one capsule. So I guess I do more light cleaning. I keep my things clean, y'all. But no, seriously, I do. Um, and the things just work so well. And can you guys see it? Like this is one cleaner. Uh, it also makes a window cleaner, a glass cleaner. You can make a carpet cleaner, a wood cleaner. Um, you can literally make any cleaner. I'm not going into all the cleaners right now. I did the whitener, 
This is going to be the all purpose cleaner or light cleaning, I guess is what I it, it cleans everything, you guys. It's awesome. And it's safe and effective and non toxic, which is amazing. Perfect. Um, so yeah. This, which I need to get a new spray bottle for, just so you guys know, is uh, the, you can see it has more of an orange tint to it. This is the window cleaner. So it's water, white vinegar, and like you fill it to the top, like a tablespoon of white vinegar, water, cap full of thieves house, we'll say, you know, roughly to the top cap full of these house soap cleaner, and then eight to 10 drops of citrus fresh. And you can add more if you want, it's up to you. So, and then the, so we do have this new scrub. If you wanted to just make your own scrub, because I think that's still available for now. Um, it is new though, so. Get it while it's hot, right? Um, so a tablespoon or two tablespoons to one cap full, so one teaspoon of Thieves Household Cleaner is how you make a scrub. Super simple, super easy. Some people do add more essential oils. I usually don't, unless it is kind of like really sicky stuff then I'll probably add more lemon or thieves itself, but usually it's it's fine with just that. Oh, and we also have a toothpaste and a mouthwash and a floss, but apparently I put that on my notes, but I didn't grab it. But you guys can see that on the website for those watching on YouTube, anyone live, I can go grab it, you know. And then um, we also have our luscious lemon hand soap as well as our lush, or the, oh, did that reverse? This is, yeah, yeah, no, I did that right. Hand soap, and this is the lotion. So and we also now have the Luscious Lemon Essential Oil Blend. So you can put it in your diffuser. I have it in my diffuser right now. Look at that, that's the candlelight setting, right? So you don't have to use toxic candles. You can use your beautiful diffuser and have it on the flickering candlelight setting. It's really amazing. So uh, Luscious Lemon is amazing. It has ylang-ylang, eucalyptus globius, lemon myrtle, lemon, and spearmint. That is Luscious Lemon. It's such a beautiful essential oil. So, oh, and then also we have, this is the hard lozenges, and then we also have a Thieves cough drop. All of this is from plants, it's plant-based and it's safe and effective. You, you guys, like I ditched the toxins, probably like fully, fully ditched, ditched the tox, toxins, wow. Um, I'm gonna smell some citrus fresh. So I fully ditched the toxins about probably 12 years ago. Like I, I only use Young Living products and my immune system and my sinuses are amazing. It is so perfect and beautiful. And then, I mean, we have everything. We have toothpaste, mouthwash, Coolazole pain cream, right? Coolazole pain cream. We have beautiful essential oils that are like a perfume, but they don't have those toxic ingredients. We get monthly gifts. This is one of our monthly gifts for spending X amount. The kids sense unwind. All of the moms out there, you should use this. But guess what? I'm a big kid in disguise, so I have this because when I go traveling, I don't have to take my big uh, mega cow. I can just take this because it has magnesium. It does have a little bit of calcium, but it's mostly the magnesium in here, which is fine. I'll get the calcium when I get back. If I'm only, you know what I mean? It's sometimes good to give your body a break so it can naturally absorb things as well. So that's it. Can you guys see how amazing these products are? Oh, wait, Thieves Fruit and Veggie Soak. This stuff lasts so long because you literally, it even, you need a 
for every gallon of water, you need one fluid ounce, which is two tablespoons of Thieves uh, fruit and veggie soap. And I use this when I get all of my groceries, right? And I soak it. That's what you do. Now the groceries from my house, from my garden, I usually just rinse those. And I might like, like make a little spray solution of this. That's sometimes like my, my cheat. There is the veggie soak uh, spray and wash too. Or I'm sorry, the veggies, veggie, fruit and veggie spray. <laughs> um, but this is amazing. It's so, it lasts forever. Actually, I, you can kind of hear it. I'm getting kind of low now. Actually, I also use that because I didn't, I was trying to get work done. I just went to go check on the garden and, you know, so I was just like, take a break from the computer and the screens, right? And then I saw little tiny green bugs, so aphids. So I decided, what can I use quickly? I looked at this and I was like, oh yeah, they don't like any of that stuff. Cause it also has like ginger and fennel and tarragon uh, and myrtle. So I got this and it worked. So, I hope you guys can see how amazing this is. I hope you can see the beautiful reason to read your labels and to ditch those toxins. They're endocrine disruptors. They're messing with your hormones. Please do your research. And can you guys see the importance of joining this group, this beautiful community, my group, to help educate you and help you find the best products and make sure that you are using the most pristine products every single day. So there's really three ways to join. The first way is a good way. It's getting retail. So if you're like, okay, I really just want some dish soap, but you probably are gonna want more, right? Like, come on, let's be real. Um, so the better way is the wholesale, which you get all these, pro all these products at 24% off. And there is a Thieves starter kit. Now it comes with most of the products that I mentioned, not all of them. Um, the best way is joining on Essential Rewards. And Essential Rewards is like your cashback cards meets your credit card, only Young Living does it better as it starts with 10% and goes up to 25%. And in the first year, it gives you gifts at the first month, the third month, the sixth month, every three months like you get gifts. And um, yeah, it's a beautiful thing. It's amazing. I love being on Essential Rewards. And like I said, we have makeup, personal care products. We have over 200 essential oils. So you guys, there's definitely going to be something. Supplements, it's amazing. So if you're already taking supplements, just use Young Living. You're going to, one, they're more bioavailable because we got the science behind it. And Young Living makes a product for a purpose. Every product we have is for a purpose. Um, so you can add some of, you can add more items. You can use your premium starter kit, the Thieves premium starter kit as your first essential rewards order, and then add some other items because you set up next month. Um, or you can add some other items for this month. Maybe you're like, girl, okay, I know I'm gonna get some Thieves hand soap with that, but I also want luscious lemon because I got four bathrooms. I don't, you know, you need the hand soap and then the, this, you guys, this stuff smells, so, I told you guys what's in it, right? So the essential oils are ylang ylang, eucalyptus globius, lemon myrtle, lemon, and spearmint. They're amazing. Um, that's really cool. That's it. So remember, we get monthly gifts too. All my contact info is below for all the YouTube peeps. I'm going to turn off the recording so that I can answer any other questions and you guys have a great day. Bye-bye. Or hold on. Bye-bye, right?